2012 mountain storm. And uh, here are all the likely victims that are going to be going up to the mountain. <laughs> and they all think they're going to get down, which they will. And here's a couple more of them. Yeah, we're all going to have a good time. It's it's only about 97 degrees right now. So we're, we're just heading out up to uh, Lone Fur Resort. Oh, you got the Sasquatch shirts going. Nice. Yeah. Wow. But by the time we got up and down Ooh, once. Man. Here it is. The first sight of it. Okay, here we go. We're almost to the climber's bivouac, and uh, we haven't seen Sasquatch yet, but we have our eyes out open, and uh, we really think we might have a chance at it. What do you guys think? Squatch Watch 2012. <laughs> Hello. Is that baby going to the top? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we made it. Uh, I think the first year is good. Blake? Ready to go. All right. Sleep right here. Hey. Kind of kick back from here on in. Uh, just talking about where Sasquatch lives over there on the by the eight cave over there. Over by the eight cave. So we're all just about ready to head in. A little team meeting here, <laughs> and uh, we're all settling in for the night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Huh. What's up? Hey, we are ready to go, morning, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Don't worry. We just passed the 4800 mark. I don't know if you can see any of those lights up above. They're about 100 yards ahead of me. So, game on. What's the best part about this? Oh, just everything. It's just awesome. Beautiful morning, wonderful company. It's awesome. What do you think, Stacy? I made it. Woo! Good, we did. <laughs> Came walking along the west rim here. There's not near as much snow as we walk this way. It's just kind of like walking top of a ridge top. Spirit Lake down there. That would be not right here. You can just see that little point on the right there. That's Camp Muir. And to the east is Mount Adams. Hey, Corey. What do you think about that? Oh, that's a nice picture. What do you think, Kim? That was great. Glad you made it? Yeah. This is number two? Two. Well, we've made it to the top of Mount St. Helens again. And uh, everybody made it. There was 14 of us. Wow, this is the warmest it's ever been on top here. Yesterday afternoon it was about 95, and uh, I would venture to guess it's in mid 50s, maybe low 50s up here, and uh, it's just beautiful. You bored yet? Huh? You for like three hours. <laughs> There's Tiffany over there. Say hi, Tiffany. There she is. And Brad. And Stacy and Jim and Dara. Hi. Corey. Kevin and Blake. He's kind of incognito. Oh, there he is. That is Blake. <laughs> Over there is Dustin and Kyle. And Sarah, triathlete Sarah, made it to the top of St. Helens. So proud of her. Just barely. Everybody's getting a shot of the sun coming up.
<laughs> oh, he's booking. Here comes Brad. He's got about a maybe up to a mile to go save. That's working pretty good. Hey, I'm gonna follow you. You're you're making a nice trough there. That's what I'm talking about. I have to really pucker up my butt to make it not hurt. How's your bum? <laughs> Mine's cold and it's getting sore. Oh wow, we're running out of snow. The problem with this here is you don't know when there's going to be a, a rock that is like right there and you grab it. Looks like we can get down to some more snow though. Well, we temporarily, barely, temporarily ran out of snow. So we're going to hit the rocks, get down below, see if we can get some more snow to go sit on. And here comes that Stacy up above. Sarah. And here comes Sarah. All right. And we just came down off of there. Been a long day. And these here are columbine, often mistaken for Indian paint bread. and all I saw was one water bottle strapped to his back. Well, we made it down from Mountain Storm 2012. Yeah, not, and all not the people that, that survived I know of, but are that here. Mean there isn't anything going on.